Good morning, interwebs. It is Saturday morning, and I am on my way over to my friend's house in order to go for a walk run, haha, ha, um, to get some exercise in because we both really need some exercise. Um, it is beautiful out. It is probably already in the 70s, um, so it's super, super warm, so the fact that I have a change of shorts is a very, very good idea. Um, very excited to get the day started. It is going to be a beautiful weekend. Tomorrow we're going to go to an art festival in what's called Hopewell Junction, which is like, I guess, a historic spot. I'll have to check out some more information about it, um, but I'll probably vlog from there as well. So that's that for now. Let the adventure begin. Good afternoon, interwebs. We are at the park. It is literally one of the most beautiful days. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. And right now, baby girl is playing on her little playset with mama. And we are also having a picnic. I have cheese and crackers, car keys. <laughs> but I mean, look at that. Look at how pretty this park is. It's called Centennial Park. Um, they have a huge 4th of July celebration, I guess, where they have like zip lines and inflatables and music and all this stuff. And then they have fireworks and stuff. So this place is just great. Um, each town also has different farmers markets every day. Like Norwalk, the town that I'm living in, it has theirs on Fridays. Uh, this town has theirs on Wednesdays. And it's just, it's really, really cool. Um, tomorrow we go to the art festival, so that will be fun. We went for like a four mile walk run. Um, I kind of power walked it, Robin ran, which was good. Um, there's also a lot of like kids playing sports and stuff. Like there was a huge, so there was all sorts of soft girl softball games going on and everything, which was really cool to see. Um, there's just, there's such a sense of community here. Um, it's just, I don't know, I'm really happy that I made this move because it's just really, really great. Um, but yeah, now we're out having a picnic. So I'm going to drink my sippy cup that, you know, isn't really a sippy cup if you know what I mean. And I'm going to enjoy the day. So we'll see you later, interwebs. Good morning, interwebs. Happy Sunday. Uh, I'm getting ready to head out the door to go meet up with Robin again. We are going to go to an art festival in Valley Junction. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's going to be really cool. It's kind of like a craft fair, and the two of us kind of love crap fairs. <laughs> Sorry, craft fairs, not crap fairs. We always called them that when we were younger, um, just because our parents or our moms would drag us to them whenever we had, to, whenever we were up in New Hampshire together. Um, so we always kind of made fun of them, but now we kind of love them. <laughs> so we're about to go do that. Um, got a little later start. I guess we kind of wore Haven out yesterday and she was over exhausted. Um, so we let Robin put her down for a longer nap. So that's that. Time to hit the road. So let's go. We are at the Valley Junction Art Festival. There is lots of art. <laughs> the funky zebras, that looks cool. And I hear a piano. This is pretty cool so far. Look at the street, like look how cute this is. This place is super cool. And look, the beetles are here. Look at all of this. And some hippie dippies. Oh, kettle corn. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Some color. That's your height. Okay. Watch your little 
this side. Let's get this purple. Yeah, <laughs> you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it. Whoops, watch your... Good job, Hayden. Your hat. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> Whoop, <and> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Robin. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Where are you going with that? Huh, so we found a place to sit. We're gonna eat a quick little lunch. Things are going really good. You wanna say hi? hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi, remember that I should probably have vlogged some things today. Um, for one, the bookcase that I have um, here that everything is all filled in um, has actually been discontinued by IKEA. And in order to get the Billy bookcase or whatever the popular one was, they wanted to charge me $350 to drive it from their store in Kansas. So, no. Um, so I found a set of replacement bookcases on Amazon um, for very, very cheap. So I'm going to probably end up moving that one either to the guest room or actually even into my room um, so that... You know, I have that, and then I'll put the other two on side of, on either side of the TV display. Um, unpacked a couple more boxes. Got really productive. Apparently, also, they left something that does not belong to me. So I'm going to have to call them about that because I haven't really been paying attention, and I'm sure whoever wants it is going to want it back. So that's fun. Uh, and the reason I was going through the pictures is because I was looking to hang up that. That's one that I hung up, and yes, it is the Exploding TARDIS by Van Gogh. I absolutely love this picture, and the Van Gogh episode is one of my absolute favorites. Um, and then, what else I did, if you'll excuse the mess, I put up these two pictures here in my room. So these I got um, at the Heroes and Villains Fan Fest 
back in January during Snowmageddon or Snowzilla, whatever it was called. Um, there by an amazing artist, I believe his name is Jason Palmer. Um, but anyways, this one is Jean Grey, Rising as the Phoenix. And then that one, of course, is Serenity. Um, and I just really liked both of them. I mean, I have cosplayed as Jean Grey before I actually have the costume. Um, I don't know if I brought the costume here with me or not. Um, ooh. There we go. Um, I don't know if I brought the costume here with me or not. I probably didn't, but I have cosplayed as her. Um, and it was actually a really fantastic outfit. I, I even ended up baking half of it myself. So it was really, really cool. Um, so that's what I did today. Um, oh, I also got a new microwave. Um, I can't really see it just because I have all the lights off. But brand new microwave in there. So it's all shiny and new and it works, which is fantastic. I'm very glad that it works because um, now I can actually microwave some stuff. <sighs> My throat hurts, <laughs> which is either the typical, okay, you've been someplace new for two weeks and now you're going to get sick, or it's because I inhaled a ton of pollen today. Um, yeah, there's just pollen everywhere. My car is disgusting. And it gets birded on constantly. Like, there's constantly bird poop all over my car. And it never used to happen like that before. Um, so that's always exciting. So I'm definitely going to have to get a car wash this that weekend. Um, but we'll see what happens otherwise. I uh, had my first attempt at Iowa pizza today. It was interesting. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't what I was expecting it to be, but that's fine. Um, tomorrow I'm going with one of the other guys who's technically my boss, but I'm basically going to be his brain. So, um, and he's, he's been really nice and very welcoming and stuff, which is really, really great, but he's taking me out to lunch at a German place. So, We'll see if I try some schnitzel or not. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, but I'm kind of excited. It's going to be really, really good. Um, oh, I really like how that came out. It, when I hung it, because I'm using command strips, I'm not punching holes in the walls or anything around here just because the walls are not the sturdiest and they kind of sound hollow in there. So I think it's just like really thin plyboard. Um, I use command strips. And so there's a command hook and then there's strips on either side um, of the painting. And it's the click ones, the ones that kind of click together. So when I first put it up, it wasn't even <laughs> or it wasn't level. And thank goodness I have a level. I can also do it by sight, but if you're stepping away from it, you want to make sure. So I used the level, so all I had to do was unclick both sides and then press them back in. So if I'm lucky, this will not wake me up in the middle of the night by falling. <laughs> but I think it's up there. I've had it up for two hours now, so if it wanted to fall, it would have done so already. Uh, so that's basically it. I took a Benadryl because of my throat hurting, and so I think I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> um, sleeping has been interesting. I don't know if it's because I, you know, I'm on the other side of the bed than I normally have been on. Um, I always sleep on the side closest to the door, and so this time now I'm on, you know, the opposite side of the bed that I normally am. So I don't know if it's a combination of that or just still me adjusting to everything. Um, but, you know, I keep waking up. It, it's it's life. It's what happens to me. So that's that. Um, work is going really, really well. We'll see how, how that continues, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And that's that. All right. Talk to you later. Good night, interwebs.